he's like the guy that, you know, people love to love and people love to hate. And the people that hate him, hate him because they want to be him or want to be like him. And if anybody takes time to get to know Grant Holloway, will find something very special about him. A lot of setbacks, a lot of people, you know, telling me I can't do something or I'm not good enough to do this or that kind of fueled me. Ultimately, you wanted to figure out what was better for yourself versus what everybody else was saying. He is Grant Holloway. Uh, they should know he's a phenomenal human being, a very caring human being, and one of the fierce competitors I've ever been around in my life. My hometown is very, uh, it's quiet. Dad was 24 years in the military, retired now, and my mom's a school teacher. So it was very, uh, very disciplined and very um, time oriented. My dreams and my goals were so much bigger than, you know, staying local. Um, I want to go global. Ended up here at the University of Florida with Coach Holloway. Need a hurdle? <laughs> you know, he offered me a full scholarship for track and field. Um, probably one of the best decisions I've made. From the first day of practice, watching him move, watching him do things, I knew he was special. How'd that feel, Greg? The sports that I liked the most when I was younger were definitely um, track and football. It just came a point where um, I knew I was going to score whenever I touched the ball. I was committed to University of Georgia, and um, I really didn't know if I wanted to play football. Um, I wasn't the best of team players at the time. And I, I know that about myself. I am fully capable of telling anybody and everybody that. If you know your true intentions are is not to be a team player and you know you have some bitterness towards, you know, team sports, you have to be real with yourself and be like, hey, you probably need to go do an individual sport. And that's exactly what I did. So Grant, see the white line right there? Where the pink is? Yeah. Okay. He he called me on the phone and he said to me, I think my passion is track and field. I don't think my heart's in football the way it should be. And he said, you know, I want to be the best high hurdler ever. And I want to know if you can help me be there. And I'm set. Let's do it. Track and field at the beginning was a bit of a struggle. I wasn't the best. Um, still don't think I am the best. Grant played a weight of 208 pounds. So he was great football weight, but not such great track weight. So he had a hard time carrying that around the track. For me, losing weight was kind of hard because my body has been trained for four years of putting on weight, putting on weight, putting on weight. You know, it's always weight, weight, weight. You want to be big for football. I had to discipline myself of, you know, the late night eating and cutting out fast food, cutting out sodas. And it was just one of those things that was like, all right, now that I'm doing all this, I can see the results. I'm running faster and I'm injury free. I think the problem is when you get an athlete that talented, everybody's in a hurry. And so the challenge for me was to be patient with Grant. I mean, where he is now, I could see that, but the challenge was me for not to be greedy and try to get him to do that two years ago. The challenge for me was to be patient and let him grow into that, to the person he is today. He saw the finished product. We just had to make the finished product. It's like putting together like a dresser or a table. Like you see the finished product on the piece of paper, all right, how are we gonna get there? All right, we gotta add the nuts and the bolts and we gotta turn this, turn that. I can remember the first day we were starting to work on his approach to the first hurdle because he took eight steps to the first hurdle in high school. So we had to switch him to seven. And he was very impatient. And I looked at him, I said, you got two choices. Either you can trust me and do what I ask or we can keep you at eight steps. He goes, say less, I'm gonna trust you. I try to help out anybody or everybody that I see. I know I can't get to everybody, but you know the goal is, of course, to help out everybody. That's the person I am. Grant Holloway is, as we like to say around here, special in many ways. I actually took the time to volunteer at an elementary school. Yeah, I'm back. Another time. Every Wednesday, the kids look forward to Mr. Mr. Grant coming in. 
and you know figuring out you know math english history science you know figuring out all those things that's something that is uh it's a breath of fresh air what activity are we doing grant keeps me on my toes um he loves having fun um i think the biggest asset of having a Grant Holloway um, is his influence. If Grant texts people and said, hey, we're going to do this community service event, or we're going to, we took the student athlete bowling, we're going bowling tonight, that his influence would bring the right people together. I, I don't think my journey and my mission is to run over sticks and jump in dirt. No, I, I absolutely do not agree with that statement at all. I think the reason why I am here is to uh, bless other people and make sure everybody's smiling. Regardless if you're with me for two hours, two weeks, a day, a month, a year, regardless of when I'm with you, I want you to smile and forget about everything that's going on. The excitement for me with Grant is he's 21 years old and the future's very bright because we're just getting started. To end off my collegiate career, just the quick stats. American record indoors and collegiate record at uh, 735. Broke 40-year-old outdoor collegiate record. He's the greatest collegiate hurdler in history. He's a professional, which is what he wanted. And he's got a chance to do some very special things as, a, as an Olympian if he'll just stay focused, which I think he will. Ever since I started track and field, I always thought about it. Like, I can't wait to be in Olympics. I can't wait to be in Olympics. The Olympics. You're in Tokyo. We're gonna put USA hurdling back on the map. I'm gonna hurdle, hurdle my butt off for 10 hurdles, run through that line, regardless, win, lose, or draw. Let's bring home a medal for USA and let's stand on the podium. This is just the beginning.